Hi, my name's uh, Mike Dub. This is my uh, Epson printer uh, R265. An excellent printer. I've got it set up to uh, print uh, A4 photographs as cheaply as possible. I do quite a few of these uh, over the years. I, I, I must have um, had it three or four years now and um, it's done, I had a tot up the other night, it's done about 14,000 A4 photographs and so it's an excellent machine and uh, still going strong when you get the red lights flashing no need for you to panic uh, what you need to do is go on the web and get a uh, get a disc uh, with the software to reset the counters uh, get the pads out that is the waste ink tank pads to clean them and to put them back now the problem with that is that uh, the machines are very difficult to uh, to get into uh, but I'll show you how to do that now. First of all, this is an old old machine that I bought for oh, I don't know, ten pounds or something like that. That uh, so I'll show you on this machine. Um, the carriage is missing, but you can see down there in the corner there the uh, waste pads that we've got to get to. The first thing to do is to remove the screws at the rear. These here. Uh, one on this side and one on the other side so that these cheeks here can be pulled uh, back that's the first thing to do to remove the side cheeks but you do need a special bit of kit and uh, this proves to be ideal it's just an ordinary bread and uh, a butter knife a little bit flexible uh, but it's ideal. I'll show you how this works. Just position the camera. All you need to do is slide this behind here. And this is the Epson got to a lot of trouble to make sure that you don't. You see it's opening up a little now. Well, I just need a something just to prise it a little, perhaps down here and there it's opened up and that's the secret to it the knife shoots along the back there goes under that under that there and, and pushes the clip off and that enables that all the other clips are designed to just go out so it just goes out sideways and if you push it back it clips back in you get your knife press against it and a little bit of prizing the other clips come out and it's off that took me years to find that out do this side a little bit of friendly because you've got to line it up try it this way around there see that that's got it so you there now the next thing is cheeks these these here now the cheeks are gone we need to do these fronts here, if you can see that. I took it on its back. There's two little holes. When you see little rectangular holes like that in it, they're for levering up. So you just put a screwdriver underneath it and lever it up. They come straight off. They're easy. Now, <clears throat> you've got to take this front off and uh, there's a there's a screw down here uh, if you can see that that I've taken off that needs to come out because you need to lift lift this up so first of all put it on its back again and then just prise these bottoms out while that one's already out that comes out like so. Put it down. 
and then you need to lift that up so that this comes out from underneath here. You can lift it up a bit and it's out. And there you are. Well you'll find that on yours that that's connected to that. But on this spare it's not. Now these are the pads here. And there's uh, oh, I think there might be eight or, or more of these pads. Uh, what you need to do is uh, you need to put some gloves on, like so. Of course, it's very inky, and I should put it onto some polythene. Although th I mean, this doesn't look as if it's uh, very saturated, but uh, I'd put them onto polythene. And the other thing to do is is keep track of which ones, which order they're coming out. Well, there we are. They're all out, and there's eight, nine, ten. There's eleven of them. Like I say, take a photograph of them. These are separate here. And put them back in the same order. There's the tank empty. But it's just a matter of um, putting them in a bucket now and uh, and squeezing all the ink out and flushing them through till till uh, till they're all clear of ink and uh, drying them. They must be dried very well. There's no point in putting wet ones back. Uh, replacing ink with just water so they need to be dry when they go back that's the ink pads back in and uh, we just need to put the uh, the covers on so uh, it's just a matter of uh, the reverse we've got to get these little these little pegs here over a bit of plastic that's why we're lifting it that's why we're lifting it goes over lift it up and then it goes over Quite comfortably, this I think, maybe. Nice tight fit just there. See that underneath there. This part very flush in. There's clips underneath there that just hold it, hold the thing in place until you get the side cheeks on. And then uh, oh, I might as well put these these facing pieces on. They just clip straight in very easily. Flip, see it goes together much easier. This goes on here. So you just put it on, just the head there, and then squeeze it together. Put the screw in there. <coughs> Don't forget to put the screws in. There. And that's all there is to it. <sighs> it took me ages to find that out.